Hey, don't tamper with the evidence. What have we got so far, Sally? Well, I think we're up against the toughest case this lab has ever had. I've got a serving of vanilla ice cream, that's exhibit A, in the new calorie McGrath our lab just got. Oh, yes. We're the first to get the multi-million dollar calorie McGrath. Checking calories, huh? You know, calories provide a measure of how much energy is in a serving of this food. That's right, and calories are assessed based on serving size. As a calorie scene investigator, I have come to find that appearances can be deceiving. Consuming too many calories per day can lead to obesity and being overweight. Here's what doesn't add up, Derek. I'm getting a calorie reading of 150 calories for one serving of Exhibit A, vanilla ice cream, while an identical serving of fruit juice pop is only 60 calories. The same serving size of the frozen juice pop has almost a third of the calories of Exhibit A? That's right. Then let's call the juice pop Exhibit B. Good idea. Let's uh, check past histories to see if there's a trend. Hand over those chips. I want to get an analysis of them. This isn't going to be pretty. Oh, only 170 calories per serving. Not so bad. But Derek, do you know the reading I'm getting for a serving size? Nine to 15 chips. Yeah, no biggie. Actually, it's really not very big. The point is, you've already had about 30 without even thinking. Well, how can this be? I didn't even eat the whole bag. I've got to contact Lieutenant Vane and tell him our new finding. Thank you, Derek. Let me know when the final results are in. Well, Pete, while we were making a case for calories, Derek seems to think that the answer lies in serving size. And serving sizes are not always what they appear to be. What's going on here? Ma'am, this is a calorie scene investigation. I'm CSI Lieutenant Vane. I'm going to have to inspect your groceries before you enter the scene. What are you looking for? We're looking for calorie content and its elusive accomplice, serving size. These will have to go back to the lab. The lab? Why the lab? Don't worry, ma'am. With our multi-million dollar calorie mograph, we can tell exactly how many calories are in a single serving. Multi-millions? <laughs> Lieutenant Vane, there is no need to go to all that trouble. Why don't you enlighten me? When I go shopping, I just look at the Nutrition Facts label. Just the Nutrition Facts label, ma'am? It tells me everything I need to know about the percent daily values of the food that I buy for my family. Let me show you. Each label actually starts out with serving size and calories per serving size. So peanut butter, serving size is two tablespoons. That's 190 calories. Hummus is 70 calories for two tablespoons. Hummus the Middle Eastern dip made from mashed cooked chickpeas, blended with lemon juice, tahini, garlic, olive oil, and salt. It became quite popular in the US, but what I didn't know is that it was so low calorie. But here's the tricky part. While two tablespoons of peanut butter or hummus might be satisfying, they aren't necessarily what I would eat in a sitting, and they certainly aren't what my growing son would eat. He's on the swim team, and his idea of a serving can be totally different from what's on the label. Luckily, he swims a lot. Ma'am, what about this bag? May I? Mm. While this bag might seem like one serving to my son's untrained eye, there are actually two and a half servings here. That means instead of 140 calories, it's actually 350, 350 calories. calories. And that extra 200 calories a day can add up to 20 pounds of weight gain over the course of a year. What's interesting is that serving sizes are often given in familiar measurements like cups or pieces. Even so, a package may contain more than one serving. For instance, milk is calculated based on an eight ounce cup serving. I guess that is just the way the calorie cookie crumbles.